channel it's me Mandy Glam and I'm back with another perfume video so in today's video I'm gonna be matching zodiac signs with fragrances so I thought it was a really cool like thing to do I've seen some other youtubers match zodiacs with fragrances and because I'm into zodiac signs I thought this would be a really cool idea to do a video okay so now, uh, I do think it's cool to like read the trades and all the good things and all the bad things on Zodiac signs. I don't consider it to be like a hundred percent truthful. Like you know, a lot of these things are just entertainment for me. Um, I think when it comes to getting to know people, you actually have to get to know the person and not go by their Zodiac signs because it can totally be misleading. Okay, but. I do feel like some of it is kind of true so yeah with that being said um, if you are interested to see which zodiac signs go with what fragrances then keep watching this video so we're gonna get into the video but first I want to say thank you if you're new to my channel thank you um, I would love it so much if you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video, okay? So, I know y'all probably looking at my hair. Let's get into that too right quick before I get into this video. So, I'm rocking my hair and I'm just kind of letting my hair do what, what it do, child. This is went from a five-day-old five um, wash and go to an afro, okay? So... I'm just letting my hair do what it do, okay? Um, so, again, this video, I'm, I'm going to put my disclaimer out right now because I don't want none of y'all getting upset with me, okay? A lot of this information I'm getting on Zodiac Science is coming straight from Google, okay? this is, I did a lot of my research from Google. But, with that being said, I do feel like some of the things that they said about the zodiac signs are true like i can see it you know what i'm saying some of it i'm like uh maybe not but i don't like take it to heart i just find it very entertaining okay but again i do think that some of it is true so yeah. we're gonna start off with the first zodiac sign and that is aries big aries okay I call it Big Aries because every Aries that I know has a big personality. Every Aries that I know has a big personality. No lie. And I know a bunch of Aries because that is my um, sister, brother, zodiac sign. Aries is a uh, fire sign. I'm also a fire sign and we're going to get into my sign a little bit later on in the video. But if you can guess what my fire sign is, comment below. Okay. Um, so, Big Aries is, here are some of the traits when it comes to Aries people. Um, they're very passionate, they're confident, they're loyal, okay? And I agree with all those things, okay? Um, I have a very dear friend that's an Aries male, and we've been knowing each other for a long time, and, um, I feel like he's a very passionate individual, especially when it comes to things that they believe, beliefs. They're very passionate in their beliefs, so um, I do agree with that. Now, some of the bad things about Aries is that they can be very, very blunt. Um, they can be very direct. They have no patience. And don't come for me. I'm just saying. Also, if y'all hear noise, that's my AC. It's hot in here. Plus, this hair is hot in these lights. Okay. So. Um, uh, I did put out a question on Facebook for all my friends to comment their zodiac sign and what fragrance that they like. And so an Aries friend of mine um, told me that she likes Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. And I could totally see that because I feel like I've smelled that fragrance in Sephora and it's a very woody, spicy fragrance. And so I can see woody spicy fragrances going with big aries okay because they have a very big personality i feel like um when aries person is in the room um you know it like you know it you see their presence their presence is very known so that fragrance is goes so well with them um i don't own that fragrance i do have a juliet 
has a gun in Lady Vengeance. Um, and I have Juliet has a gun in Romantina. Okay, and I love both of them. I've gotten compliments on both of them. Um, so I'm going to recommend another fragrance for Big Aries is... I mean, why do you keep calling them Big Aries? Because they, they have a big personality. That's why I keep calling y'all Big Aries. <laughs> so... <laughs> Black Orchid and Interlude Woman. Okay, Tom Ford's Black Orchid, which looks like this. Um, if you have not smelled it, um, go ahead. Next time you're out at Sephora or any department store, just, you know, get a whiff of it. Let me know what you think. My aunt is an Aries, and I let her smell this, and she loved it. So, um, check it out. Let me know what y'all think. Also, another good one would be uh, Armwage Interlude Woman. I think that would go with y'all's personality so well because, again, that fragrance is very attention getter. It has a very big presence. It's kind of like an incense type fragrance. So if you're out in, in the department store or whatever, smell it. Let me know what y'all think. All right. Love you, Aries. The lineup is Miss Taurus. Now, um, I do have a special relationship, special relationships with Taurus people, okay? I have a few Taurus people in my family, um, sister and brother. I think I have two brothers. No, I have one brother that's a Taurus. Well, really two. I have two brothers that are Taur Tauruses, and I have a sister that's a Taurus. So, uh, let's get into the traits of a Taurus, okay? The good ones are dependable, practical, and romantic. Um... I feel like all of that is true. I feel like with my Taurus brothers, like I can call, even my sister, I can call them up, ask them for anything, and they're there for me, like boom, like very dependable people. I think Taurus people are really like ride or die people, real talk. Like they gonna ride with you no matter what, they gonna be down for whatever. So I love that about Taurus people. Um, some of the not so good traits with the Taurus uh, sign is overreacting. Um, short-tempered, stubborn, and slow-moving. Um, not, I guess, I can see all of that. I feel like some tourist people are very dramatic. I feel like, um, they can overreact in certain situations. To me, would be like, not a big deal to me, but I guess it's in the eye of the beholder. Or if they feel like it's something major, I guess they can overreact. I don't know. One of the ladies that commented said she liked Gucci, Gucci Guilty, and I do like Gucci Guilty. Um, so Gucci Guilty will probably be notes with the Gucci Guilty. Okay, it's considered a floral, soft, spicy, uh, fruity, sweet fragrance with patchouli. Okay, and I have had that fragrance before, and I really like it. So I'm going to recommend another one to you guys is Scandal by uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I feel like it also is another warm, sweet, spicy fragrance that you probably will enjoy. So if you get a chance to check it out, let me know. Okay, so the next Zodiac up in the lineup is Gemini. Gemini is an air sign. Um, I do have a Gemini that's close to me. I'm telling you guys, like... As far as zodiac signs, I have quite a few zodiac signs that I've actually had pleasant relationships with, believe it or not. For me to be a... Oh, I almost gave my sign away. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, I've actually had a lot of good relationships with different zodiacs. So, I guess it's just my personality. But anyway, back to Miss Gemini. So, uh, the good traits of Gemini are thoughtful, kind... And intelligent. I agree with those 110%. The Gemini that I know is all those things and more. And I could not, I can't disagree with any. I don't see the lie in that anywhere. I totally, but this is a Gemini woman. I okay. not, some of the uh, downside to Gemini people could be indecisiveness, moody, and strong opinion. Um, with the Gemini person that I know, I don't see the moodiness and I don't see the indecisiveness. I do feel the strong opinion. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this Gemini has a strong opinion and it's kind of like, they don't have no problem telling you, you should have did this, you should have did that, or you gonna do this, or you gonna do that, period, poop, point blank. 
bam okay this person so, likes coco mademoiselle uh chanel coco mademoiselle is like their signature fragrance so if you are a gemini and you like coco mademoiselle comment down below so the next uh sign in the zodiac line up is miss cancer and so i do have a friend that is a cancer and um she and i get along very well and this is their water signs okay so the personality traits with cancer women are going to be caring protective and intuitive um i feel like all of those are true um some of the downsides to cancer according to google okay this is google get mad at google okay google said this vindictive sensitive and moody uh i've not seen the my cancer friend be vindictive now have i heard of other cancer cancers being vindictive yes not my friend though but talking to other people you know in conversations somebody has said to me oh yeah my mom is a cancer and she vindictive but i've not experienced that so <laughs> so um if you're a cancer you might want to check out that fragrance um it's called perfume it's called um it's by perfume damali and it's called delena and i'll put pictures up throughout the video so you guys can see what they look like okay um, the next one in the lineup is Miss Leo, okay? Leo is another sister zodiac sign for me. I know a few uh, Leo people. Um, now, Leos have been very influential in my life, male and female, okay? I have to, I just got to talk about Leos real quick. I love Leos. Like, I simply adore Leo people, the females and the males. My daughter's dad was a Leo. Um, I dated another Leo guy for a very long time. Um, now, they do have some good traits and some bad traits. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, I get along quite well with Leo people. I just... We get we we kiki we get along very well. So let's get into the traits of Leo women, um, or male. Okay, uh, generous, fat, loyal, fat, ambitious, facts. Very smart people. Like Leo women to me are always about stepping up their game, like improving themselves, going constantly going back to school bettering themselves like i don't know a leo woman that has ever went backwards like all the leo women that i know and the men they're always like leveling up you know what i'm saying so i love that about leo people now here are the bad traits about leo people or the Zo leo zodiac signs um demanding stubborn and domineering okay <laughs> from the leo men like okay the leos that i've dated they've been demanding in certain situations okay um stubborn maybe the females i don't know but i mean even in my people that i know that are leo women i've not seen a stubborn leo woman maybe they're that way with their partners but friends i don't see it um, you know, Kylie Jenner is a Leo, and when I was thinking about this video, I was thinking about, like, who do I know that's Leo personally and famous? So, she came to mind, right? And I was thinking about how generous Leo women are, like, and the Leo women that I know have been very generous to me, so that is a real true fact. Like, Kylie Jenner is a Leo, and she bought her whole friend a, a car. Not just a car, not a Toyota. This girl bought uh, Jordan a Mercedes Benz. Now, if that ain't generous, I don't know what. Okay, I don't I feel see. like with Leo women, when when they're like your best friend, it's just y'all two. Like they don't want nothing to come between that relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I guess that's where the demanding, stubborn part is. Like, if your best friend is a Leo, I guarantee you, 
you cannot introduce new women into the new women people into the group like it's not happening like it's just not happening and i've seen leo act like that with her best friend so i know it's fact like leos don't play like when it comes to their best friends like if your your best friend is a leo she's like a sister to you like everything like a wifey like it's y'all to death that's how leos are with their friends um so the domineering could come into that too i don't know my best friend is uh, not a leo but it's not like i couldn't have a, a best friend as leo but um i love leo people so um one of the ladies that's a leo commented that she likes um, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, which is one of my favorite fragrances. Oh, another trait about Leo's. Leo's really love attention, okay? Y'all don't get mad. These are not bad things. Who doesn't like attention, okay? I love attention from the right person. Uh, and I feel like Good Girl is a very attention-seeking fragrance, like even down to the bottle. When you see this bottle, tell me. This bottle does not, like, you're not attracted to this bottle. Even if you're not attracted to it, it has your attention, right? Yeah. The fra Even down to the fragrance. The fragrance is so beautiful. Like, it's just one of those type of fragrances. So, I'm going to recommend two fragrances to my Leo sisters. Y'all may like them. Uh, the first one I'm going to re recommend is, that's it's kind of pricey. But I think y'all will like it because it's a very attention uh, getter, okay? It's very, like, noticeable. People notice it right away. People love it. And I think y'all will love it, too. It's Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, it's expensive. Now, I haven't said that. It's expensive. But it's one of those fragrances that just gets people attention right away, okay? So, a dupe. A dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540 is Cloud. I don't have it in here with me, but it's reasonable. It's like $40, like for a nice size bottle. You can get it anywhere, Sephora, um, Amazon, wherever. This That's a dupe for the Baccarat, 40, uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, okay? Um, moving on to my Virgo people. Have brother, I have two brothers that actually have the same birthday, August 31st, and they're both Virgos. And um, I do know some female Virgos. So here's the uh, good side traits to Virgos. Um, perfectionist. Now, some people may think being a perfectionist is not a good trait. I tend to disagree. Let me keep going. I'll elaborate in a second. Uh, witty and realistic. I love those those traits. I think being a perfectionist could be a good trait, but it also could be setting you up for a big disappointment. Because let's face it, nobody's perfect, right? We all make mistakes. Um, I also feel like Virgos have a very um, type of my way or the highway type attitude, uh, which but. Again, this is just for fun. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it personal. I'm just telling you what Google said. Okay? <laughs> so, um, a bunch of ladies on Facebook that I'm friends with, they responded to me. They're Virgos. I'm telling you guys, all of you guys said the same thing. Y'all love some Marc Jacobs fragrances. Like, Marc Jacobs, whatever. You guys love Marc Jacobs fragrances, okay? Another lady uh, commented and said she liked Coco Mademoiselle. Um, I do, and I wanted to see why. I'm telling you, like, go. Y'all, if y'all friends with me on Facebook, go to that post and see all of the people that commented. All the Virgos, all of y'all said Marc Jacobs. So, I have a couple of Marc Jacobs fragrances that I just want to go ahead and spray and smell because I'm just I want to see what the hype is about now I am not a big uh Marc Jacob fan um I'm unfortunately I'm just not I did own Marc Jacobs for women I think it was Marc Jacobs for women 
Now this is uh, Daisy Love by Marc Jacob. I just want to smell this. Isn't that this is pretty? Um, yeah. Oh, this is Daisy Love Marc Jacobs. Oh, so sweet. Okay. And this is the older toilet. Now this is nice. This reminds me. Um, it's it's not very. And I like this one. Now this might be the only Marc Jacobs that I like, honestly. It's very pretty, very sophisticated. Usually when I think of Marc Jacobs, I think of a girl in her 20s. Um, and my palette is a little bit more um, mature. But I like that one. It's Marc Jacobs Daisy. And this is the Eau de Toilette. Um, now, now this is very fruity to me. This is like a fruity floral. And I feel like, you know, it's, it is kind of geared for someone a little bit younger. Did I not just spray this? Okay. This is, one is oh so sweet and one is oh so fresh. I feel like they smell the same to me. I don't really see a lot of difference in it. But um, it's a it's a good fragrance. I like the I think I like the uh, oh so sweet better than the oh so fresh. Let me see. Yeah, there's something slight. It's a slight note in here. I I don't know what it is, but it sets it apart from the oh so fresh. The oh so fresh is good too. In the dry now, and I feel like it's changing. I feel like it has a little spice note to it, but yeah, okay. Y'all, y'all loved Marc Jacobs. Yeah, if you are a Virgo, go and check out the Marc Jacobs because, like, seven out of ten Virgos and they love Marc Jacobs. So there you go. All right, moving on to my Libras. Okay, um. Love me a Libra. The one thing about Libras, Libras are very fun people. Like, Libras, I think Libras are like non-confrontational, which is why I can dig them so much. Like, because I'm a non-confrontational person. Like, I will avoid con confrontation at all costs. I just, especially if it's something that I'm not even going to be thinking about the next day. Like, if it's not affecting my money or my well-being or my house, home where I live and stuff like that, you won't get no no quarrel from me, child. I'll be like, I won't even comment. <laughs> like, And I think that's why I like Libras, okay? So Libras are very uh, sociable, charming and they love aesthetics. I feel like Libra people are very um, into aesthetics. Like they're into their look, they're into the clothes that they wear, they're into decorating their homes, um, and I totally get that. And and the other Libra that I think about, <laughs> that I follow on Instagram is Kim Kardashian. I know some of y'all don't dig Kim Kardashian, but she just the cats me out to me and some of the things she do is questionable but as far as like the way she dressed her whole like if you've seen her home it's very like a minimalistic vibe to it like the colors are very solid white beige type of vibe very clean very aesthetic pleasing to the eye you know what i'm saying like being in a spa and I like that, okay? Some of the downsides to Libras are um, they like they like to make everyone happy because they're balancing out their scales. So they take from here to put on here and here from there to put on. Try to balance stuff out. And sometimes it's hard to do to, you know, make everybody happy. You can't make everybody happy, okay? I hear that Libras can hold grudges. <laughs> yeah, um, so... I have none of, I didn't get any um, comments from any Libra women on what fragrances they like. So I'm just going to take a shot in the wind. I could be wrong. Um, I think I played it safe with the Libra women. I think you guys would probably be into um, two Versace fragrances, which is Bright Crystal and Yellow Crystal. 
Um, I also think you probably would like Ariana Grande's Cloud. I don't think it would be your favorite, but I feel like you could rock it, you know what I'm saying? And Versace Woman. I feel like, and the reason why I picked Versace Woman, because one of the legal women that I used to work with, she actually introduced me to Versace Woman. And um, Versace Woman is very playful, sexy, you know, there's a lot going on in the fragrance, but it balances out in some kind of way believe it or not and it's a very sexy fragrance so i think you guys will like that I all right so the next sign is scorpio Ooh, miss scorpio now a few things i can appreciate about scorpio people like if they don't mess with you they don't mess with you period like you can't make a scorpio like you i'm just saying you can't I me mean, now i personally love scorpios like me and scorpios get along well um i don't have any issue with scorpio people like i feel like they are very funny um i have some scorpio uh, people that i work with i've dated a scorpio i almost married a scorpio uh so they cool with me i like them personally um so here are the traits with Scorpios. Scorpios are very brave people. Um, I feel that's true. Honest and ambitious, okay? Now here are the downsides to Scorpios. I feel like they're jealous. I, I don't feel like that. I, don't, I take that back. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking about my ex. I'm going to downsize to Scorpio. Jealous secretive and they're not very trusting of people and they could be kind of aggressive so yeah like i said i was engaged to a scorpio for a very brief moments and jealous yes they they the men the man i'm talking about the man okay the man they can come off a little jealous um Secretive, yes. I feel like Scorpios can hold on to a secret child till they go to their grave, okay? They not really gonna, unless y'all tight like that, they not really gonna be the ones to call you up and kiki and give you the tea and spill the tea and all that there. They not really gonna be doing all that unless y'all tight, you know? And, and they know they can trust you with a secret then they'll be like, okay, boop de boop, whatever. Hey, <laughs> they ain't telling you nothing, okay? Nothing. A bunch of women commented um, that are Scorpios commented on my Facebook, and the majority of you guys picked Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth, which is one of my favorite fragrances. Um, Flower Bomb is beautiful. It's it's like I don't have the notes in front of me, but. I can see why y'all would pick that fragrance. I think Flower Bomb goes really well with y'all personality. I think it's awesome. Also, Alien. Somebody mentioned Alien. Um, was it Alien or was it Angel? I think it was Angel. But y'all might like Alien too. I don't like Alien. But um, somebody mentioned um, Angel by Terry Mueller. I can see that because Angel is a very big patchouli chocolate fragrance. And I think it goes well with you guys' um, uh, vibe. And uh, uh, also a thing about Scorpio too. Scorpio women are very attractive. Like if y'all know any Scorpio women, I guarantee you like she is sexy, gorgeous, confident, like mysterious. Like I have not seen or met a Scorpio woman that wasn't attractive. Like you guys are super attractive. Um, so I want to recommend Black Orchid to y'all. I think y'all might like it. Give it a try. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, because it's a very big presence as well. Alright, so here we go. Here we go to the next Zodiac sign, okay? Just letting y'all know, um, the best Zodiac sign is a Sagittarius, okay? What's up to all my Sagittarius sisters out there? Brothers too, if you a Sagittarius, like this video, comment below, alright? What's up, Team Sag in the house? <laughs> if you haven't guessed it by now, yes, I am a Sagittarius, okay? December 9th, what's up? My daughter is a Sagittarius, December 8th. My cousin is a Sagittarius, December 7th. I have a brother-in-law, hey hon, 
Sagittarius too. Um, who else? Oh, I know so many Sagittarius people. Like, like what's up? Like, Sagittarius is a big present in my life. Like, I like, I don't know what's up with that. I attract a lot of Sagittarius people. I guess it's just my vibe on who I am. That's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, we we big. We big. Okay, now, Sagittarius traits. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, and I'm going to let y'all know about Sagittarius people because I've done a lot of research on myself. And most of what they say about Sagittarius is true. I have to admit, I will not lie to y'all. We are be very honest people. Okay, so... Sagittarius, good traits. Loyal, kind, and independent. We are very independent people, okay? The bad traits. It says we have an inability to fulfill promises, okay? We're clumsy and we're overthinkers. Um, so let me touch on the good stuff first. We are very loyal. Like, um, if you are a friend of mine like you a dear friend you know i'm loyal you know i'm ride or die you know what i'm saying like you really have to mess up with me big for me to like cut you off you know what i'm saying like you gotta do something to me that like shook me to my core to my spirit or just took me to a whole nother level of angry for me to just really like do away with you you know what i'm saying like to the point where i don't really communicate with you no more that's one of the downsides to to me i feel like is i'm so nice and i don't bother people but when somebody does push a button like you can push a lot of buttons with me but when you push like a certain button and it takes me to the point of no return or you hurt me so bad you know i have as a Sagittarius, I feel like we have a tendency to go inward when we're upset and we process a lot of things. And that's that overthinker thing that we do. We are very big overthinkers. So if you are married to a Sagittarius or you are best friends with a Sagittarius and that Sagittarius gets upset, just give them time. We need time to process what had just happened okay we need to you know think it sometimes we can overthink it you know even my daughter admitted she's an overthinker i'm an overthinker we need time give us time don't be you know make us mad and just constantly stand on us because you're not gonna give us time to process it and get over it and that's the good thing about us once we process it we over it we done we moving on to the next we're not really the type of people to waddle and pity we just don't do that we're very optimistic individuals we believe in that everybody has a good side that you know we're very optimistic people we always looking at the glass half full okay we always looking at the positive side of things that's just how we do we don't we're not doing the whole pity party thing over here okay now fulfilling the inability to fulfill promises let me touch on that real quick. I know this is a perfume video, but because I'm a Sagittarius, I have to elaborate on my sign, honey. I just can't go out like that, okay? Now, I will say that that is true to a certain ex extent, okay? Um, so, I am the type of person where somebody might invite me to go somewhere and then um, I may cancel at the last minute. It's not because I don't want to go and I don't want to hang around um my friends or anything like that it could be from anything from my finances are not there and because the finances are not there i feel like i can't have a good time the way i want to um it could be that it's a bunch of married people there and i'm gonna feel like the odd one out because right. I, um and i'm an overthinker again it goes back to me see i'm already overthinking why i can't come out okay <laughs> I'm already thinking about it like I don't have anything to wear my hair look a mess you know you give me space to think about anything I can think my way out of pretty much any situation but yeah fulfilling promises you know and as I've gotten older I've learned to work on that and really back in so now 
I try to use the word no more often and it's so hard for me to do sometimes because I want to be there for people. I want to hang out with people, but then again, I don't want to put myself in certain situations where I'm, you know, it's a bunch of couples and I'm the only single woman there and I just feel a certain type of way. So, you know, if it's going to be all girls, like an all girl thing, girlfriends having dinner, I'm for it. Like, I'm there. But if it's going to be like other couples there, nine times out of ten, I probably would say no. Um, and I need to do better. I need to ask, like, who's going to be there, what, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, if it's a family thing, then it's going to be all kinds of people there. But if it's a couple thing, I probably won't go. So that's the whole fulfilling, not fulfilling promises that I've made, okay? But if I make a promise, I'm going to keep it. So, anyway. Um, clumsy. I'm very clumsy. If y'all have watched my perfume videos, y'all have seen me tr almost drop several bottles of perfumes i will trip over stuff i will drop stuff i will break stuff i'm kind of clumsy in that way um and y'all know the overthink is true it was another thing i wanted oh uh, about sagittarius people we can be um kind of petty <laughs> it's not beneath us i'm just saying so the fragrances for Sagittarius people are as follows. Um, for me, I like Tom Ford Black Orchid. I like a lot of Tom Ford fragrances. I feel like Tom Ford just embodies everything I think about in a fragrance. Also, Killian. Um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know that I'm in love with several Killian fragrances, including my all-time favorite that I have right here which is good girl gone bad this is just when i smell this fragrance it taps into my optimistic side it just makes me so happy like it's just um i don't know how to describe it y'all know i got a video talking about this fragrance and it has over twenty thousand views so go watch it but something about this fragrance just makes me happy Something about Tom Ford fragrances and Killian fragrances just make me so happy, okay? Um, also, Interlude Woman. Okay, so I picked that one because I feel like Sagittarius women do have a very big presence. Um, look at Nicki Minaj. She's a Sagittarius. Um, look at Tower Banks. She's a Sagittarius. We just have a very big presence. Look at me right now. Look at my hair, baby. I am. This is this is my horse mane, but this coming out my scalp though. We have a very big presence. So, I'm watch Interlude Woman is perfect for us, and I'm watch Beach Hut Woman is also perfect um, for us because we just boom. Okay. Moving on, Capricorns. Yes, my mother is a Capricorn. Um, my stepmother is a Capricorn. <laughs> so, Capricorn women, you know, let me let me let me tell y'all about the Capricorn women. Okay, they're very serious people. So according to Google, traditional and very responsible. I agree with all that. Um, I've not met a Capricorn woman that's not responsible. Every Capricorn woman I know has been independent very hard worker you know uh, it's not unusual to find a capricorn woman in a leadership position like a manager uh position management you know um now the downside to capricorn people are they according to google they can be unforgiving and condescending i don't know um but i i feel like I don't know. I don't know about the unforgiving part. I don't think that's... I, don't, I wouldn't agree with that one. I don't know a lot of Capricorn women, but I do... Like I said, I know a few. And I feel like they're very forgiving of people. Okay? Um, I think they're kind of sensitive too. I feel like the Capricorn women that I, I do know of that I have encountered can be kind of sensitive um, people. So the fragrances that I would pick for y'all, and no one commented, um, none of the Capricorn women comment. If you're a Capricorn woman, comment below. Let me know what fragrances you like, okay? Uh, I picked Chloe because I used to work with a, a girl that was a Capricorn, and she wore Chloe. 
Um, that was the first time I smelled Chloe and I liked it. I thought it was very beautiful, very feminine. Okay, um, another recommendation that I would have for you guys is um, for a more mature Capricorn woman would probably be Narciso Rodriguez Her. Okay, um, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. And then we're done. Aquarius, okay. I get along well with Aquarius women. Um, one of my grandmothers was an Aquarius woman. Good people. Uh, they're free spirited, non confrontational, and assertive. I think being assertive is good. You, if you're an assertive person, you getting the job done. Period. You know. You know what I'm saying. Now, some of the downsides could be unpredictable, um, hides feelings. Okay, and can be distant. Um, again, I don't really know any Aquarius women per personally. I've dated several Aquarius men and I feel like, yes, they are very unpredictable. I feel like they do hide their true feelings or their intentions and they can be distant. Sis. Um, one lady did comment on my Facebook and she is an Aquarius and she picked uh, black opium by YSL and I want to smell that one because I haven't smelled it in a very long time oh I like this okay it, it is mysterious okay this is very warm spicy um, this may be that assertiveness that Google was talking about okay I can see that in the uh, black opium kind of mysterious i think this would be good for scorpio as well so scorpios y'all might be into the y'all might like the black opium by uh ysl check it out right, last but not least of the zodiac signs which is one of my favorite zodiac signs i've one of my very best dear friends is a pisces and we've been friends since 03 i think long time um, let me give y'all some traits of the Pisces um, sign. Creative, empathetic, gentle, and wise. I agree with all of those things when it comes to Pisces. I know women are very nice and sweet and caring and would do anything for you. That's why I say I would fight behind this sign. Like, I really, if somebody, like, mess with my Pisces friend, like boom like it's on like popping real talk i'm fight you because <laughs> i might um so the downside to the pisces is feel fearful okay over trusting um and can be distant i do believe that and this is just so off the wall weird but I had to say it Google said Google Google said that Pisces have a desire to escape reality let me know what y'all think about that comment if you're a Pisces person comment below I'm really curious to see if y'all out here trying to escape reality <laughs> um so no one commented that was a Pisces woman but um, my friend wears Coco Mademoiselle all the time. I think that's like her one of her signature fragrances. And I'm going to recommend Prada Candy because I feel like um, this is Prada Candy. So if you're a Pisces, if you like this fragrance, comment below and let me know why you like it. Um, but I feel like this um, is a little bit more on the sweeter side powering it but it's very sweet and it's kind of like a like the coco mademoiselle has a very big presence it's, that's a very mature fragrance for me i think this one is a little bit more toned down it still gives you the a little bit of the sweet spicy warm you know notes and vibes that the coco mademoiselle gives i don't know let me know what y'all think but i think you should try it out smell it let me know if you like it um, or not oh another fragrance that Chanel you is the Chanel Chance uh, Old Tender um, a Pisces woman that I used to work with actually introduced me to that fragrance and um, I enjoy that fragrance I actually bought a bottle of it and I really like it okay so try that one out let me know what y'all think but 
that is the end of my zodiac perfume video i hope you guys enjoyed it i really did this one took me some time this is a very long video too it took me some time to get all the the information down the fragrances down child it was just a lot went into this video just let me tell y'all that so if you watched it to the very end thank you so much i appreciate you so much for doing that if you're new to my channel welcome go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any new videos that i upload i hope you guys are staying safe thank you so much for rocking with me i will see you guys in the next video